The garden has finally started. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a few things that we need to take care of today. I wish I could say that the tank is looking, well I mean it kind of does look great, but I wish I could say that it is feeling as good as it looks. And uh, it's just not the case. There are still some things that are not looking right. Like this dying season's greeting, the grafted Monty. We also have some algae starting to grow out. I don't know, I don't know if we're getting like a little, some sort of spike. I just did a water change a couple days ago, so that shouldn't really be the case. SPS is, is not looking good, but then it's not even all, all of it because like that looks like that, but then look at the green slimer. The green slimer looks perfectly fine and is growing. So it's, it's just a very weird situation where some corals are having a strong reaction to something and others are not. So recently when I saw this stuff wasn't looking right, I decided to do another ICP test and see if there's anything that's getting thrown off in the system. And one of the things that I found was that I was reading copper in the system. I don't know why, but I was reading copper. It wasn't like showing that it was super high or anything like that, but it was in there and I'm thinking that that could be affecting the corals. So I did some research and found this Kupri Sorb, which I've never f heard of before, but it's by Seachem and it's a powerful synthetic resin for removing copper and heavy metals. metals. This one treats up to 60 gallons, which is perfect because my tank is 65 gallons. I definitely want to get this in here pretty quick. Hopefully I'll start seeing some of the corals doing better. Regardless, the corals still have to like kind of regenerate themselves, so it's not going to be an overnight kind of thing. But I do want to try to stop that deterioration as soon as possible. And hopefully, I don't even know if this is the issue. The copper in the tank can't be helping, so Hopefully this will just get us a step closer to solving the problem if it isn't the problem. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button to the notification so I've got new fish videos every single week. Oh nice, it comes in a pouch already. Kinda looks like purigen. It's like little, little resin balls. Getting a little bit of a slime. We want to put this in an area of like flow, so I'm going to throw it in the back in my media basket and hopefully get some stuff in there. Now this does take out all kinds of metals it says, so once you get your copper levels in check, um, it says you leave it in there for two weeks and then you could remove it. So I'll probably just, you'll be able to tell that it's exhausted by the coloring of the beads changing. So I'll just keep an eye on it and pretty much once this one's exhausted, I'll end up just tossing it and not replenishing it. Hopefully by that time, my frag racks will be out of this tank already. And, um, and yeah, hopefully if that's our problem, then it will present itself again and the corals will be good by then. So, I don't really know. I think I'm gonna just put it right on top. Right on top, so it, Scooch over the uh, other stuff. That looks pretty good. What is that doing? Hello? What? What's going on here? I guess I just moved all that guck in there. I really need to suck out those back media basket chambers again. Look at this. Just made a disaster just by moving some stuff in my media basket. If you have a Red Sea Max 250 pro tip, <laughs> Pro, make sure you guys are sucking out those back chambers every couple water changes. It is amazing the amount of detritus that gets stuck back there. Like, it looks like a sandcastle is being built back there. I have not done it in a while. And look, this is what happens. Anytime you move anything back there, like, it's just a disaster in the tank and it takes a while to get cleaned up. Before we start gluing down corals in the display tank, I wanted to give you guys a little update on the frag tank. We had to make some renovations the other day because uh, yeah, you, you remember that piece that I threw away in the back that was like a spongy kind of thing? Well, basically, I should have freaking kept it because what happened is the pump doesn't go all the way through the hole and fill the complete hole in, in the tank bracket. So when the back chamber evaporates water and uh, it, it's low in the back, the water just flows through, right? And it creates a waterfall effect and it was just sounding insane in here like every two days. Not only that, it was kind of bypassing the filtration, right? The whole point of the filtration is that you want it to go through the filter floss and then back out the pump and that's how it's like supposed to clean things up, but that was not the case here. So you see right down there, the pump 
has a gap. It now is covered with silicone. I've been letting it dry. I have not plugged it back in yet, but I'm hoping that this will at least pre prevent such a loud noise. It definitely isn't the cleanest job, but it will hopefully let me sleep at night. The water seems to kind of be holding on this side and not dripping over into this side. We got like a couple drops, which isn't a big deal. This uh, water that I got today does not look that great, but hopefully with the, the filtration, it will do its job. Let's plug this puppy in, shall we? Well, we're pumping, so that's good. We got our water pouring over the back here too. Yeah, hopefully that will do. I'm uh, excited to put some coral in here pretty soon. I just want to make sure that that is taken care of because uh, and we got to get a lid for this ASAP. I also tried to see about taking off this tube and it just it, it wasn't it wasn't right. I don't know. It just it, it, it wasn't uh, an option right now. Rock flower somehow made it to the top of the nano tank. And I kind of like it. it. Gives a little life to the rock. Now for the fun part, to place some corals. So I think what the goal here is going to be just to get rid of this hammer here, and that way I can scooch over the frog spawn and the torch and split them up a little bit so they have a little bit more space. I'm liking the frog spawn here. It looks happy and fluffy, so I don't really want to mess with that. I just, I need to... I need more space here. There's just, there's not enough space for this guy. This hammer is going to go right back there with the other hammer. I'm thinking it will look cool if I just glue it to this bottom ledge right here so it will kind of fill up that space. It might be a little short for right now, but I'm thinking long-term, big picture. Once the frag rack is gone, it will be a nice little view when you're looking this way. Keep that big picture in mind because a lot of the corals that you guys buy, unless you're freaking loaded, uh, they're going to be small frags. So make sure you're thinking about how they're going to grow, what they look like when they grow. Think about other colonies of that coral that you've seen before. Do they go wide? Do they go tall? Just keep that in mind when you're placing the coral because it's not always going to be the best spot right now. But if you're looking for long-term growth, you could put it into a place where it's going to look better in the long run. I'm a little sad that I'm going to disrupt these all right now because they're looking so happy, but we got we got to get them. Got to watch these freaking clown ba. I get this guy a little close before get away from me clownfish. That thing looks funny. I want to break it off of this guy. I think we need a new plan. New plan is try to just... There we go. Now we load this guy up. And hope for the best. I'm not even sure if this is kind of sticking where I want it. But I can't really see it at the same time I put it down, which kind of sucks. I'm just frozen right now. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So I did get it to hold. It's just a little bit like weak because of the like weird, just how this one was too. It's like a weird angle that it's on. I'm just leaving the pumps off for a little bit longer to give it some more time to kind of hold a uh, hold tighter. I don't want the the pumps to just freaking blow it over. It actually placed pretty well. Remember that these guys fluff up really nice. So they look kind of so, so right now, but it will, uh, it will fluff. You can kind of see what I mean there by like the weird angle. The rock is not straight. So it's gotta be weirdly positioned to make it look like the coral's kind of going up straight, which is a little challenging, but it's a nice little fill right there. Might as well feed the homies while we wait. Oh. I always do that. They're so excited. Careful, don't knock over my new coral. All right guys, I think it's time for the moment of truth. Am I gonna turn these pumps on and the coral's gonna be good? Or is it gonna fall over and I'm gonna have to redo everything I, I just did? I'm, I'm, I'm planning on it holding because I just picked everything up already. So I, I'm really hoping that I don't gotta do all that again. Fingers crossed. Pump one. So far so good. We got some action happening. Pump two. Seems pretty solid. I've been talking about the Euphelia Garden for literally like a year now and it's cool to finally see pieces start coming in for it. What else could I mix here with the hammers, guys? Are there things like other kinds, what other Euphelias could I put here that wouldn't uh, sting each other? So it could just be like a nice little, little garden back there. Cause I do plan to get 
that chalice out of there. These guys are already looking much happier spread out. They just have some space now. They're not, oh, really dude, really? You better not knock my guy over. You better not knock my guy over. Oh, good job. I wasn't expecting this guy to be so big when I unboxed it originally, but it just really freaking fluffed up. I'm super excited that the garden has finally begun because it wasn't really a garden before with just one gold hammer, but now there's more than one, so it's actually a little garden starting. Can I put the frog spawns up there with the hammers? That might be something that we do. I have two frog spawns. I have the green with the purple, and now this purple one here. That might be cool up there, or will those kind of fight? I don't know. Let me know. I will keep you guys posted on how the copper remover does and on how the frag tank freaking waterfall does once the water evaporates, which will probably be in like tomorrow. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week. If you enjoyed the content, smash that thumbs up button, helps the channel out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Right Later. Around, right here, right now. Both feet on the clouds, right back around. Slow us down to the sun. Goes.